Mackenzie, welcome to Lucy Mackenzie Humane Society. We are, let's see, oh, our mascot at Lucy Mackenzie is a hound dog, and Pluto here is our resident mascot. Pluto, ba -ba -ba, what you doing, boy? What you doing? Pluto is our resident mascot that does not appreciate the rain. Heading back in. But here at Lucy Mackenzie, we have um, a big selection of dogs and cats that are looking for second homes, second chances, and trying to available for love, companionship, happiness, and laughter. Uh, we have, oh, let's see, um, this month at the shelter, we have every, everything from hound dogs to cocker spaniels, some gorgeous big headed brindle pit. Um, coming up, we have a few new dogs that just came in. They'll be available for adoption in another week or so. And we have kittens, we have cats. Stripes, calicos, tortoise shells, tigers, you name it. So if you're looking for some sweet companionship, increasing your family this month, and having a new companion at home, head on over, meet some of our cats, meet some of our dogs, and see who you can bring home. Great. <laughs> He's trying to figure it out. There he goes. So this is Chewy. And he's a two and a half year old male. And he was a shelter transport from Virginia. And Chewy's been here for several months. He came in, in March and he's really looking to find a home. He is a really, really affectionate cat, which is really nice. Loves people and cuddling and all that good stuff. Um, he has He's blind in one eye for some reason, but it doesn't seem to affect him. He plays, he jumps, and it, you know, continues to be cute even with the one eye being not functional. Um, he does not get along with other cats, so he is an only, only cat in his next home, which is great for someone looking for a special friend to have some quiet times with and also to entertain them because he's really a fun cat to be around as you can see. So Chewy would love to find a new home and I don't know if you can see this but on his paws he's got this extra tufting of fur which makes it really really unusual. Maybe it's something because he's from Virginia and they have this special trait down there. I'm not quite sure but I think it makes him look like a little special cool cat. So come see Chewy and let's get his eyes. Come on, where's your face? Where's your face? There's his face. There it is. There's Chewy, a good boy who deserves a really good home. I know the baby one, the baby yes. dog. But How many boys and girls do we have? Uh, let's see. Here we have ten puppies in this litter, um, a mix of boys and girls. All of them. Come here, say hi. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Here we go. Here's one of our big boys right here. Blue eyes, brown eyes. 
about three spots in the entire litter. We have a litter of puppies here at Lisey McKenzie. They're only, a, let's see, they're about eight weeks old. If you want a summer and a fall project, these puppies are the ones for you. <laughs> They are silly, their mother's a beauty. Um, the mother and the litter were all okay. um, we're all a we're all a bend. And so a serious rescue. They were the tiniest things when they came in and they are just growing like growing like bees. Yeah, you tell it. You tell that brother. Look at the little one. Let's see, our smallest little rent of the litter right here. You just you look at you. Look at you, yes. Oh yeah. Oh look at you. Oh look at those wrinkles. Oh my gosh. You such a chubby. Look at those wrinkles right there. You adorable. And that pink nose. We have a mix of different eye colors. Who do you have? Blue right here? You have two baby blues right here. You got your feet under you? You can chubby. Oh, look at that. Look at your little spot. Look This is Myrtle. She is a nine year old torty female who is an adoption return. So she would love to get back into another home. Um, super friendly, as you can see, just rubbing on all the toys. And I don't know, I've had a torty cat in my life and they're really unique. And this, look at the face, just, just so cool with her markings and friendly. As you can see, I'm petting her and she's rolling around on the floor. She's an, a little bit of a middle-aged cat but as we know, cats live a long time. Um, so I think she's got many, many years ahead of her. She's in fantastic condition. Her fur is super, super soft as I pet her. And she's liking my pants right now as she walks on by. Uh, she likes her tail pulled a little bit and she likes to roll on the floor and show us her belly, which is really nice, really nice. See how friendly, see how sweet, what a nice cat. This girl would like to go into someone's home. When she was in her cage, she was meowing for me to let her out. So you can see she can certainly use a home and would make someone a nice companion and a nice friend. She's back on the floor, her favorite place, rolling around. As you can see, that face is so unique. Look at the face. She grooms her little ears, getting ready for her new home, which could be you. So come and see Myrtle, cause she's ready for you. Ready to rock and roll out of here, she says. Please take me. Yes. This is Flower. She's five years old. Really cute tuxedo cat. She's been here since March, so she's been here for a while as well. Um, owner surrender. The owners probably couldn't take care of her properly or moved, and she wound up here, which is a very safe place to be. But as always, a home is always a better place for these animals to be where it's warm and comforting and quiet. So I'm gonna to try to get Flower to come out of her enclosure here. Come on, Flower. Come on. Come on, there we go. Very nice cat, very friendly. As you can see, she's melting into my hands. Here's Flower and I think you can see how cute she is. Come on, I'm trying to get her to come out. Come on. Come on. She's very quiet. Very, very affectionate, as you can see. Come here, that's a girl. That's a girl. 
right. Come on. You want to come out? Oh, she might do it. Here she comes. Oh, she rolled over. As you can see, oh, she's adorable. She's really sweet. Are you sweet? Yeah. Pet her on her head. Good girl. Kneading the dough and contentment. Yes. Good girl. So this is Flower. Please come and meet her. I think you'd be really, really taken with her. I certainly am. And she would like to go home with you and lay in front of the fire or just sit on a couch, look out the window, and do all those cat-like things that make a home so warm with the addition of a cat. Okay, so here at Lucy McKenzie, we still got a couple kittens. We have um, two black ones. I got one here walking around and the other one is right there by the water bowl. And we have a little tabby in the back who's a little bit shyer, but um, in any event, Shyness usually dissipates with um, socialization and uh, comfort. And there is another one down in the back here, hidden away. They must be related because they look super um, familiar in there. Markings, like a white and a tabby. So let's see if I can get closer. They're probably not going to like this, but there we go. That's okay. And so there's one there, and there's another one somewhere else. Yep, and it's trying to go under there, but again, um, best thing for these cats is to get in a home, be comfortable, and I guarantee they will be much more sociable. And these little black ones, where are they? Okay, the black ones are um, very um, outgoing, it seems. They are out in the open, drinking and eating and playing with stuff. So they are just kind of your average kittens, which is nice. Um, and black cats, in my opinion, are very lucky. Who knows why that superstition thing ever showed up in life, but they are here and they're ready to go. These, these cats are about three months old, I think, something like that, but they're ready to go home and kittens are, you know, they need to go. This one's having a good time playing with his feathers. Right? Yeah, nice. This one's playing with something else. There. Kittens really, in, you know, liven up the home, I'll tell you that. They're <laughs> pretty busy little guys, but when they're done playing, they just zonk out for hours on end. So they don't go all day long like this. They just play and then they get tired and they sleep and then they cuddle in your lap. And that's what kittens are good at. Then they turn into a nice family pet. And you could take two cats, no problem. Two of these buddies would be fun. Except they're not getting along right now, but <laughs> this one's growling at that one. But again, having a family spat. So come see the kittens. We got four of them here, and we'd like to get them in a home. Thank you. What are you doing? Let's see. Um, I am Lucy McKenzie. Every summer, um, the shelter runs a summer camp for kids. Um, we have our last summer camp is happening the week of July 31st. We still have some spots open. It's a morning camp from 9 to 12 um, for, let's see, for young kids. And every day you're going to meet a new animal, um, everything from meeting and talking with a veterinarian. We have, you're going to meet rabbits, possibly snakes, dogs, cats, you name it. But it's a wonderful chance to have your, have your kids and family get to spend more time at the shelter and really get, just develop and continue that love of animals of all sizes and shapes. Mm -hmm.